All right, in our last video, we talked about multiplying exponents. In this one, we're going to talk about dividing exponents. So when we're dividing exponents, when we multiply exponents, we added. When we're dividing exponents, we're technically subtracting. So you're going to keep the base and subtract the exponents. But I find that to be a little bit more difficult. So I'm going to show you a little bit of a longer way to do it, but it helps keep it more organized and I think makes a little bit more sense. So the way that I do dividing exponents is, hold on, let me get my thing set up here. You take, I'm just going to do a whole example here. All right. So if I have a division problem, let's say it's x to the third y to the fourth, and I'm dividing that by x to the fifth and y to the third, let's say. Okay, so what we're finding is, and any time, as you guys know, any time you divide a number by itself, the answer to that problem is 1. Okay, so 2 divided by 2, 1. 12 divided by 12, 1. 150 divided by 150 is 1. Okay, so if I expand this out like we talked about in the last one, this just means that I'm going to have three x's on top and five x's on the bottom. And I'm going to have four y's on top and three y's on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel all the matches because x divided by x, 1. I'm going to mark all of these out with a 1. So there's a 1, there's a 1, and there's a 1. So on the bottom here, I'm left with two x's. So that's x to the second power. Over here, I have 1, 1, and 1. If you notice, I have no y's left on the bottom, but I do have one left up here on the top. So that's going to be y. And it's technically y to the first, but we don't ever write the first power. That just means itself. So my answer here is going to be y over x to the second power. I'll give you guys a second if you're writing notes that you can write that down. Okay. So let's do a little bit more difficult one. Let's do one with the negative. So let's have... Um, x to the negative 3, y to the 4th, and z to the 5th. And we're going to put that over x to the 4th, y to the 7th, and z to the 3rd. Okay, so this is a pretty crazy one because we've got multiplication, we've got negative, we've got division, we've got all kinds of stuff going on in here. So, first thing we need to do is get rid of all those negatives. So this x to the negative 3. Remember, if it's negative from that negative exponent video, if it's negative, it's going to move to the other spot of the fraction. So this x to the negative 3 is actually going to come down here. So I'm going to rewrite this problem as y to the 4th, so a new spot here. This is going to be y to the 4th, z to the 5th, over, well, I already had 4 down here, and I'm moving 3 more. So now I'm going to have 7x's on the bottom. I still have 7y's on the bottom. Oops, sorry. And I have 3z's on the bottom. That's a z, sorry. Okay. And I make mark through my z's here because they look like 2's. So that's how you know it's a z. Okay. So. Now, I'm going to match up my bases. Well, all my x's are done. I have my y's here and my z's there. If I have, and I'm not going to do that long way. I'm going to show you a shortcut way. If I have four y's up here and seven y's down here, that means all four of these are going to cancel out, and I'm going to take four of these out of here. So this seven is now going to become a 3. So now on the bottom, 
I have x to the seventh. Oops, sorry. Goodness, I don't like you doing that. I have x to the seventh, and I have y to the third because it was seven. Four of them came out of that seven, so now I have three left. And then here, I have five z's up here and only three z's down here. So all three of these are going to be gone. And I'm going to take three out of here and make that a two. So this is now going to become z to the second power. And my final answer is this. Hopefully that helps, and I hope you have a great day.